Real leadership is not about me. It's about we. It's not about I. It's about us. Leadership is more than just a title. It's a function. Today on In The Mix, let's have a courageous conversation about next level leadership. Yeah, how to use your influence to make a difference. Oh, I'm mic'd up. Join me and let's mix it up. Good people, how you doing? How you living? How's it going? What's happening? I hope you are doing well. Well, I want to welcome you to another edition of In the Mix. I'm your host with the most, yours truly, Dr. Eddie Connor, and it is an honor that you have joined us today. And it's going to be an amazing conversation of illumination on our channel for change, our channel that creates change, our channel that breaks chains. Family, you know how we do it. We got to pay that light bill. Come on, drop some light bulb emojis in the chat. Drop some light bulb emojis in the chat, as a matter of fact. And then also, as you drop some lights, tap the like button. Yeah, hit the like button. And then while you're doing that, also hit the subscribe button as well. Lights and likes. (laughs) Let's do that. As we're dropping some light bulb emojis in the chat, of course, we're going to light it all the way up. 100 watt conversation. Yeah, we're going to keep it all the way 100. We're too lit to quit. We turn the lights all the way on. Why? Because we are the light of the world. And family, as we have this conversation of illumination, we are going to spotlight and highlight our topic for today. Next level leadership. Mm Mm-hmm. How to influence. How to use your influence to make a difference. We got to do that. Oh, that, that's that's the gamut in the game of our community, the Eagles community. Empowered authentically gifted leaders, envisioning success. That's my acronym for Eagles. But also we increase your ideas, your impact. And here it is, your influence to make a difference. Go ahead. Join us. The Eagles Academy dot com. The Eagles Academy dot com. The Eagles Academy dot com. When you get there, tap the join now button, fill out the form, be transformed. I want to tackle a few levels of leadership, if you will few levels of leadership. Let's jump right on into it. I want you to just type this family. Type next level. Come on, type next level. Next level. Next level thinking. Next level, next level, next level leading. Next level creating. Next level innovating. Next level doing. Next level action taking. Next level moving and shaking. Next level record breaking. Next level. Mm hmm. Next level. And I want us to tackle one of the first levels. And Dr. John Maxwell is one of the preeminent thought leaders of leadership. He has a great book called Developing the Leader Within You. I want to tackle a few key points that I think we should know in order so that we can grow. Type this family, type position. First level is position. When you're thinking about next level leadership, the first level is position, and that is positional positional highlights particular rights. People follow because they have to. That's particular position. And here's what I understand. Here's what I know. Here's what can help us to grow is that title and position won't get a a person very far in leadership. Positional leaders have certain rights. And here's what the right is. 
they generally have the right to enforce certain particular rules. They have the right to tell people to do their jobs. But here's the thing. Real leadership is more than just ruling, dictating with an iron fist through authority, through a my way or no way and no way is okay type of approach. Real leadership is about exposing people to their gifts through opportunity. Right? It's not me beating you over the head with a gavel and telling you, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to do this and you need to do that. I don't like the way you did this. I don't like the way you did that. No, no, no. I'm, I'm putting you in a particular place based upon the gifting of what it is that I see, much less the gifts that you exude, the qualities that you have and that you possess to where your gift will make room for you. And now even as an entrepreneur, it will prosper this organization too. Real leadership is more than just a title or an income. It's about teamwork and impact. You don't just go as high as your team. You go as high as your, don't just go as high as your dream. You go as high as your team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Are you hearing me? Family, just type teamwork. A lot of us, we, we, we're so focused on income, but not outcome. We're so focused on income, but not impact. We're so focused on income, but not influence to make a difference. But hear me, if you increase your ideas, if you in increase your impact, if you increase your influence as a byproduct, you will increase your income. Zig Ziglar put it this way. He said, if you help people get what they want, I guarantee you'll get what you want. Real leadership is about being a person that others will gladly and confidently follow. Why? Because they show their work. Their work is worth following. Right? Leaders, real, real leaders know the difference between position and influence. Right? Because it's either one or the other. Position is oftentimes you will do this. Influence is I have the will to do it and I have the skill to influence you and show you how to do it and how to manifest and how to make it happen. A lot of people want to be the boss. Oh, yeah. Got the mentality of a Rick Ross. I'm the biggest boss that you've seen thus far. I'm the I'm the biggest boss that you've seen thus far. But here's the thing. That's more so an authoritarian type of aspect of rulership, not leadership. Dictatorial. Ruling. Authoritarian positioning. But few people want to be a leader. Who influences people and is an influential component in people's lives. You don't always have to be in front of people to lead them. You can lead people right beside them. Come on, sis. How many times has the brother been able to take your hand and lead you right beside you? Don't have to. You don't you don't have to, you don't have to be trailing. You don't have to be trailing him. No, no, no. You can. He can lead you right beside you. Why? Because you were made from the side anyway. It's not behind every good man is a good woman, but it's beside every good man is a good woman. I can lead you right beside you. Because I understand that there is commonality. I understand that there's congruency. I understand that you have certain gifts. I understand that I can lean in. That's what it's all about. And that's how the real work begins. Come on, family type leader, type leader. Type leader. A lot of people want to be bosses and they don't want to be leaders. They just want to boss people around. They want to tell people what to do. They want to throw something, and tell people to go fetch. Come on now. They have a dictatorial mindset and they think leadership is dictating. No, leadership is delegating. Leadership is envisioning. Leadership is tapping into people's gifting. Leadership is influencing. Leadership is making a difference. Leadership is asking, how is it that I can serve today? My constituents. Those who look up to me. Those who need me. Those who are dependent upon me. Here's the difference between bosses and leaders, though. Bosses drive workers. 
but leaders coach them. Bosses say I, leaders say we. Bosses say me, leaders say us. Bosses say mine, leaders say ours. Yeah, that's why I love it. This is our channel for change, our channel that creates change, our channel that breaks chains. That's why we have hours and hours worth of content here, because this is our channel. Do you see what that is? Come on, family, just type hours. Type hours. Yeah, you got a Khalees mentality. I'm bossé. <laughs> yeah, that's a throwback for you. That's a throwback for you. Bosses know how it's done. Leaders show you how it's done. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna show you. Hmm. I love the game of show and tell, and I think that's how life has to operate. A lot of times we just want to tell people, but can you show them while you're telling them? Can you show them and then tell them? Can you show your work and then let us know why you are a leader worth following? Bosses say go. Leaders say let's go. Family, I need you to type those two words. Type let's go. Bosses say go. Leaders say let's go. Why? Because we're going together. There's a story of some young children who were in an African village and there were some individuals who came to Africa and were trying to connect with some of the children and they put a, a basket of fruit, probably about maybe a few hundred yards away from where the children were and all the children, probably about 10 of them. We're just gathered in a huddle together and the people who were there who had and brought the fruit basket said to the children when I count to three I want all of you to run and the first person who gets to the fruit gets to enjoy it all by themselves and all the children were looking at each other. They heard the countdown. On the count of three. One, two, three. And something remarkable happened. In this little village in, Af in some remote part of Africa. Some particular part of Africa. That the children looked at each other. And rather than run to the fruit basket. The children held hands and they walked together. They all got to the basket together and they sat down and they enjoyed the fruit together. One of those particular children was asked, they were asked, why did you all join hands and walk to the fruit basket together? Didn't one of you just want to win? And here's what they responded in some form or fashion and I'm paraphrasing that when one eats we all eat their mentality was this a win for you is a win for me too we win together come on family just type we win this ain't a race it's a pace and matter of fact we gonna run this race together at our pace with grace arm in arm hand in hand because here's the thing it's enough room for all of us. It's enough money for all of us. It's enough room at the table for all of us. And you don't have to build a taller fence. You can build a longer table. Why? Because a leader enables you to do that. Ooh. Who am I talking to? I hope it's you. I know it's you. It ain't about building a taller fence. It's about building a longer table. And a leader, a real leader, a servant leader enables you to have a seat at the table. Why? Because if you're not at the table, you're on the menu. And how many times have our brothers and sisters continue to be devoured by the forces that be? 
in society. Keeps us scratching where we don't itch. Keeps us gnawing and clawing, surviving but never thriving. Got enough bosses, we need more leaders. Position is a good place to start in leadership, but it's a terrible place to stay. You got the title, you got the position. But if you don't lead beyond just position, you will depend on rights, you're going to depend on protocols, you're going to depend on tradition, and tradition often becomes the Keeley seal. Well, this is how we always did it. This is how we always do it. This is how it's always going to be done. Because you, when you move off of just tradition, you now negate imagination. You now negate innovation. You now negate creation. And hear me, what leaders adapt to, leaders adapt to change. Come on, family. Type change. Type change. Type imagination. We're, we're talking, we're talking right now about next level leadership. How to use your influence to make a difference, family. If you're not a part of our Eagles community, we go further and farther than what I go here. We really train leaders. I, I can't give it all to you here. But you show enough, get it all there. Where's there? TheEaglesAcademy.com. Once you go to TheEaglesAcademy.com, when you get there, tap the Join Now button, fill out the form. I guarantee you're going to be transformed. Join our Eagles community. You owe it to you to be in a community of not just survivors, but thrivers. Join our Thrive community. Eagles empowered, authentically gifted leaders envisioning success. Come on, family. Drop some eagle emojis in the chat. As a matter of fact, Make that investment in yourself simply just for $24.99. The value that you're going to get is going to far exceed what it is that you had to invest in. But you owe it to you to invest in you. Invest in your leadership abilities. Invest in your imagination. Invest in, in, invest in your gifting. Invest in who it is that God created you to be. Invest, invest, invest so that you can be your best, your best, your best. If you're not a member of our, of our Eagles community, yeah. TheEaglesAcademy.com, but also if you're not a member of our In The Mix community, do that. I, I love the colorful portion of our In The Mix member area right here. The live chat is very lit with amazing members who have expressed their loyalty simply by purchasing a badge. Tap the link in the chat, tap the link in the description of this video to become a member of In The Mix, VIP Royalty OQP. Get one of those badges. And my giving my gift to you is now to give you access to our Connor's Corner. Got a lot of content. I don't share anywhere but there. Behind the scenes, seeing me in different lights, this, that, and the other. Conversations that I don't necessarily have any place else. You owe it to you to get the wisdom and the insight that increases your imagination and your innovation and your development. Go ahead. Become a member. Partner with me. Partner with me. I hope you'd agree to partner with me as we broaden our broadcast and you can help us to do that. Family, I got a special message in the midst of this special message. I want you to stick and stay. More is coming your way. After these messages, I will be right back. Our schools are underfunded, teachers are underpaid, and our children are undereducated. Our classrooms, culture, curriculum, and communities are in crisis like never before. Education is the key, but the lock is broken. So how do we fix it? I'm so glad that you asked. I'm giving you strategies in my new book. It's my 17th book, by the way, called Strategies for Successful Schools. How to develop a diverse classroom of learners who read, lead, and succeed. This is a book that's available right now for our educational leaders. It's a must read for school board members, parents, community advocates, transformative teachers. And yes, for those of you who desire to see our children lead and succeed. But not only that, so many of our young people are struggling with their academics, their mental well-being, limiting beliefs, procrastination, interpersonal trauma, and just feeling like they're hopeless. But what if there was a go-to guide to empower you to be a champion and our children to be a champion and empower them to overcome challenges? Here's the good news. I've got another book for you. It's my 18th one. Learners are leaders. Strategies and solutions for student success. It's got a 31-day journal in there. It's got affirmations. 
really a lot of valuable life lessons, ways to set smart goals for success, improve your mental well-being, foster academic success, so much more that is in store when you get not just one, but both of these books. They're both available right now on Amazon. Yeah, go get it right now. But also, you can get signed copies that are available at theeaglesacademy.com forward slash books. Don't just get them for you, but also get them for someone else, too. Yes, yes, y'all. And we don't stop. Come on, family. I need you to heed to these resources that you've heard. Let's get back to the word. We've got a number of different resources that are here. Yeah. Learners are leaders. Yeah. You want to make sure that you get that book. Strategies for Successful Schools. Family, these books are hot off the press. They just came out. Come on, go ahead and get your copies. Get your copies of these books. These make a great gift for somebody, a teacher, a teenager, a student, a support system member, a parent, a guardian, a supervisor, a board member, an administrator, principal. Come on. You owe it to you to invest in somebody and get somebody these books. I also want you to join my launch team. Yeah, I want you to join my launch team. You can simply join my launch team by getting your copies of these books. And then all you have to do is just take a picture of your books, take a picture with your books, tag me in your story, tag me on social media. Let's help spread the word. Got some good news here. We got some types of types of books here. When you're thinking about education, is the key, but the lock is broken. How do we fix it? How do we fix it? Underperforming schools, our children being undereducated, our teachers being underpaid, our schools being underfunded. Come on, family. Something has to change the strategies, the structures, the solutions, the systems are in these books for how to change it and how to level up as leaders. We're talking about next level leadership. Oh, yes. If I do say so myself, are you getting something from this? How to use your influence to make a difference. Told you, number one, when we're thinking about these next level leadership. Traits, next level leadership levels. Yeah, next. Yeah, next leadership levels. Told you, number one, we're talking about position. You have to extend just beyond position. Position is a good foundation, but you can't stay there. Can't remain there. Because now you just specifically depend on rights and protocols and tradition. And you throw off and you forsake imagination. You forsake innovation. Leaders have to be adaptable to change. Because here's the thing. A common reaction of followers to positional leaders is to do only what's required what's, what's required of them are you hearing me yeah th this is this is them picketing this is them being obstinate to positional leaders i'm only just gonna do what's required of me nothing more nothing less you ain't gonna get the best out of me i'm gonna be presently absent i'm on quiet quit i'm just gonna do the bare minimum how many people do we know like that? Some of us have been those type of individuals. Yeah, sometimes I walk into a particular store. I won't say the name of it. Yeah, particular grocery store. And there's a particular individual. Whenever I see them in the store, I see them. They see me. I wave to them. They wave to me. I say, how you doing today? They say, just a few more hours till I'm off. <laughs> I can't wait till work is over. I can't wait to punch this clock up out of here. I'm headed home. I can't wait till I get home to cook and watch Netflix. Come on. They only do what's required of them. Yeah, she's, she's physically present. They're physically present. But they mind is somewhere else. When leaders ask people to go above and beyond, to do something extra, to stay late, this is what they'll hear. These positional leaders are going to hear this. Oh, that ain't my job. Well, that's not my job. I, you don't pay me enough to do that. It won't be any coming early, staying late. Because when you leave from a place of position, people only do what's required of them and nothing more. People do not commit to vision 
or causes led by positional leaders. Here's what you got to do. You got to take the, the cake. You got to take the cap off your capability. You got to unlock your effectiveness. You have to commit to developing yourself as a leader. You have to elevate the leader in others. You have to equip. You have to empower. You have to engage. You have to encourage. Come on, family. Type commit. Commit to the commitment. Commit to developing yourself as a leader and then also now elevating the leader in others. See, we know how to elevate just the leader in ourselves, and we only specifically focus on elevating the leader in ourselves. But what do you do to delegate? What do you do to innovate? What do you do to enhance? What do you do to initiate? What do you do to equip and empower and engage and encourage other individuals to tap into their leadership ability so that you can see in them what they may not see in themselves? Oh, it's levels of this. Come on, family, type levels, type levels. Let's take it to another level. Can we go to level two? Can we go to level two? We're, we're going on this elevator. <laughs> yeah. Going on this elevator up. Told you number one position, family, type permission. Number two, type permission, type permission. Permission now highlights relationships. Yeah. Position, I told you that highlighted rights. Permission highlights relationships. Relationships are key. Relationships are important. It's not just about what you know. It's also about who you know. You don't just soar as high as your dream. You soar as high as your team. That's about relationships. When you help people get what they want, you'll get what you want. Relationships. Teamwork makes the dream work. Relationships. Your network determines your net worth. Relationships. Family, just type relationships. I, ho I hope I'm bringing, I hope I'm boiling it down to its granular level. Told you the first level was position. People follow because they have to. In this level of permission, the second level, people follow because they want to. Mm. Positional leaders, those who are following positional leaders, they follow because they have to. Oh, they have to come to work or there's no paycheck. They have to show up or they'll get fired. And they only do what they have to do, but not what's needed of them as well too. Permission, relational leaders, people follow them because they want to. Mm -mm. I want you to write this quote down. I want you to write this down. No takers are money makers. No takers are movers and shakers. Leadership is getting people to work for you when they are not obligated to. <laughs> did, did you hear what I just said? Leadership is getting people to work for you when they are not obligated to. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Permission is about establishing good relationships that go beyond I and they focus on us. Right. They focus on. We not just me. Simply because people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Do you care? All I want to say is that they don't really care about us. A lot of people feel that way when it's a positional leader in the position of leading. Your true influence will come from your heart, not just your head. Got to have a heart to serve. A servant leader. Come on, family. Type servant leader. Servant leaders have a heart. Why? Because hard work is hard work. And hard work is hard work. Servant leaders understand the power of hard work. It's about personal connections, not just titles, not just regulations. It's about implementation. Because you can care about people without leading them. But you cannot lead people well without caring about them. Let me say that again. 
You can care about people without leading them, but you cannot lead people well without caring about them. And for, for much of what it is, when we look at the landscape of where it is that we are in our society, leadership, you can't find it in the daytime with a flashlight. Because we got so many leaders who just don't care. The haves versus the have nots. And they don't care if you have not. They don't care who they have to lock up. They don't care who they have to incriminate. They don't care who they have to marginalize. They don't care who they have to redline and redistrict. They just don't care. They're obstinate. They're cold. They're, they're calamitous. They're comatose. They're out of touch. They don't even have a pulse on the pain of the people who they say they want to serve. They only show up when it's election time. They're divisive. They don't say words that endear or that draw you near. They push you away. They push you aside. Got all the power, got all the money that they can possibly want and is still not enough. So guess what? They'll take from those who don't have. Please forgive me for my brash delivery. You can care about people without leading them, but you cannot lead people well without caring about them. People won't go along with you if they can't get along with you. I need you to hear me. That's worth repeating. People will not go along with you if they cannot get along with you. It'll be the buck stops here. It'll be I'm drawing a line in the sand. And here's one of the preeminent next level leadership laws that we need to understand is that we have to be people centric. We have to be people focused. We have to focus on the people factor. We have to develop a leadership style that is people centric. Come on, family, just type CEO. Type CEO. CEO, yeah, you are the chief encouraging officer of your life. Maybe you're so discouraging to other people and you're not encouraging other people because you don't even encourage you. You always put yourself down. You don't affirm yourself. Henry Ford said, if you say you can or you can't, you both, you're still right. What words are you saying to yourself? What words are you saying to others as a result of what it is that you say to yourself? Because your future, your funeral is on the tip of your tongue. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. Your words create your world. What you speak into the atmosphere will appear. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. Right? Your words, here it is. Are a sword. Yeah, flip the flip the letters around in the word words. <laughs> yeah. Flip the letters around in the word words and it'll spell sword. Are you sewing people up or are you chopping people up? Are you fighting for people or are you fighting people? Are you lifting people up or are you chopping them down? Well, it, you know, I got this title and you're going to do what I'm telling you to do. And, and this, that and the other. And I've been here this long and, and I've been here a long time. Well, maybe you've been in the way a long time. Maybe it's the fact that nothing can get done because you're the obstacle in the path. You're the hurdle that everybody got to cross over. 
You're the Achilles heel that keeps everybody else tripping. And you're not leading from a level of love. Hear me. Real leaders lead from a lens of love. Why? Because they, they, they have that heart of a servant. You can't be people centric. You can't understand the whole aspect of the people factor. If you're lacking love in your heart for people. And here's the thing. We've heard a lot of sob and sad stories throughout the course of our years. And sometimes because we hear them so often, we become so desensitized. We become so numb to the pain of people. That hear me, we don't make Matthew 25 come alive anymore. What did Jesus say? When I was hungry, did you feed me? When I was naked, did you clothe me? When I was thirsty, did you give me drink? When I was in prison, did you visit me? Why? Because if you did it to the least of these, you did it unto me. Do we still have any love for the least, the last, the lost, the left out, the overlooked, the underserved, and the underrepresented? Or have we just become so much robotic human doings that we fail to be human beings? That we see social media as just a highlight reel. And the last person we're able to keep it real with is ourselves. Somebody doesn't have what you have. And so now you look down on them. Somebody's not at the level of education that you may be at. So you look down on them. Somebody does not embody what it is that you embody. And so now you look down on them. The only time you should be looking down on somebody is if you're lifting them up. And you're extending your hands to help them and to heal them. Because you understand that this level of leadership is about heart work. And the heart work is hard work. And hard work is heart work. But a leader understands all of that. A leader understands the importance of using their influence to make a difference. Because here's the thing, if I'm going to be mad at all, family, just type mad. Just type mad. Mad ought to mean making a difference. Every day, what can I do to make a difference today? What can I do to empower at least just one somebody today? I don't care if that's opening the door. I don't care if that's giving an encouraging word. I don't care if that's showing up. I don't care if that's sharing from the depths of your heart and your testimony. I don't care whatever it is. What can I do to make a difference in at least one somebody's life today? Come on, family, just type this. I'm a difference maker. I'm a difference maker. Beyond my title is my function. Beyond the applause is about a cause. Beyond the awards is about a reward. I'm a difference maker. A leader is a difference maker. A servant leader is a difference maker. A, a difference maker. You're a trendsetter. You're a trailblazer. You're an innovator. You're a creator. You're a mover. You're a shaker. You're a leader. You're a developer. You're a scholar. You're an engineer, you're a minister, you're a developer, you're an idea creator. There's greatness in you. Hear me. I need you to hear me. This is for every leader who I'm talking to. And I hope I'm talking to you and I know it's you. Somebody's waiting for you to become who you are. So they can become who they're supposed to be. Come on, leader. How much longer will you make them wait? Come on, there's books in you. There's wisdom in you. There's knowledge in you. There's integrity in you. There's development in you. There's development in you. There's ingenuity in you. There's creativity in you. There's intellectuality in you. There's cognitive ability in you. What are you doing with it? 
Come on, got to use your influence to make a difference. Everybody want to be an influencer, but nobody want to influence. Call yourself an influencer, but you're the one who's always influenced. You're under the influence. Yeah. Walking under the influence. Driving under the influence. Thinking under the influence. Getting in relationships under the influence. The world's got you tossed to and fro like a ship without a sail. Rocking and reeling. Here, there, everywhere. Under the influence of everybody else's thoughts and everybody else's opinions. And you never make an influence. You never use your influence to make a difference. But now is the time. Come on, family. Type now is the time. I'm not going to be under the influence of your opinions. I'm not going to be under the influence of your negativity. I'm not going to be under the influence of your bad attitude. I'm not going to be under the influence. I'm going to influence by making a difference. This is a great place to sow. Courageous conversation. Drop a super chat. Drop a super sticker. We've been having a, a super conversation. Super conversation. Drop a super chat. Drop a super sticker, family. This is a great place to sow. I want you to sow where you grow. This is where you sow. This is where you ought to sow because you grow. This is where you soar. Sow where you soar. As you're taking flight. To be a next level leader and ascend to higher heights, deeper depths. Cash app, dollar sign access identity, PayPal, Zell, Eddie Connor, JR, Gmail. I'm making an appeal to you to invest into this in the mix broadcast. You can help to broaden our broadcast. Every seed, no matter how small or great makes a difference talking about making a difference you can help to make a difference by helping us to expand this message into nations and neighborhoods and communities and cities and purchase the requisite tools of what it is that we need to make sure that our broadcast has all of what it needs the hardware and the software to build this show to be bigger better and brighter this is good ground. I would that you would sow into it. We got a lot of work to do. Not just online, but also offline. As I'm expanding into communities and schools, taking products and resources like this and putting these, these books and resources into the hands of our teachers and the hands of our students, you can help to expand this vision through my mentoring program, Boys to Books. Your seed can help us to meet needs because it's so great. But one can chase a thousand, but two can chase 10,000. Just you coming into partnership with me and us. Look at the exponential increase in the multiplication of what it takes of what happens as a result of it. Go ahead. Drop a super chat, super sticker into the super conversation. Not as a debt that you owe, it is a seed that you sow. Link is in the chat for how to give and where to give. Link is in the description of this video for how to give and where to give. Cash app, dial sign, access identity, PayPal, Zelle, Eddie Connor, JR, at Gmail. And as you're sowing your seed, I want you to name your seed. I'm believing that God's going to do 30, 60, 100 fold, and he's going to multiply your gifts expansively and exponentially, exceedingly abundantly above all. That you can ask or think thank you so much for the seeds that you've sown thank you so much for partnering with us and sowing into good ground family if you're not a member of our eagles community you can partner with me on a greater grander level simply by joining you can go right now to the eaglesacademy.com the eaglesacademy.com the eaglesacademy.com i'm not I, I can't teach everything here but i sure do over there Join our accountability group, our accountability partners. We have so many gifted leaders that are over there that you've got to connect with. Sometimes there's a blessing in connecting. The transformation of what it is that you experience, the development, the overcoming of the obstacles, 
We owe it to you to be in a community of gifted leaders like you. Empowered Authentically Gifted Leaders Envisioning Success. That's my acronym for it. Join us. You're going to experience nothing less than greatness. Did you hear what I said? You're going to experience nothing less than greatness by joining. Family, drop some eagle emojis in the chat. TheEaglesAcademy.com. When you get there, tap the Join Now button, fill out the form, be transformed. I would that you would take advantage of just this, this low rate of what it is that we have right now, just $24.99. The value far exceeds the investment of what it is that you sow into by joining our community. If you're not a member of In The Mix, I would that you would join us there. Yeah, join us in the mix. Become a member. All you have to do is just get a badge. VIP royalty, OQP. You up with OQP, yeah, you know me. You up with OQP, now you show me. My give and my gift to you is now giving you access to our Connor's Corner content. Private area of our In The Mix member area that membership has its privileges. Become a member and join us there. Family, did you get anything from this session? Was it a blessing? Did it empower you? To step into your greater level of leadership ability. I sure hope so. Because I know that In The Mix is out of time. But y'all know I'm not out of truth. And so I want to thank you for rocking with me. I want to thank you for riding with me. I really do want to thank you for rolling with me. Why? Because that's just how we roll. And we roll together each and every single weekday. Monday through Friday for In The Mix. Yeah. And of course we stream right here on our YouTube side, but we're also streaming on our sister satellite stations on social media. And so I want to thank you, sincere salute for those of you who are watching us on our sister satellite stations on social media. But I just got a question for you. Are you my friend? Are we locked in? Then step this way, step that way. Yes, yeah, step this way, step that way. Which way am I talking about? By connecting with me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok. We don't stop. At Eddie Connor Jr. Yeah, E D D I E C O N N O R J R. Thank you for putting some respect on my name, family. Hit the thumbs up button on this video. Share it. Hit the subscribe button as well. If you don't have my books, family, I encourage you to go and get them. Go ahead and get those books on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, as well as the EaglesAcademy.com forward slash books. Thank you so much. For your support and on my website you can get those books signed if i can help you if i can serve you in any way family you know you don't need to hesitate to reach out to me if you're looking for a dynamic speaker now why would you look any further come on you know i'm the man for the job so invite me to speak at your church your conference your community center your school your graduation your session your college your leadership training let's make some progression mm-hmm all you have to do is email me to invite me. Info at eddieconnor.com. And it would be an honor for me to empower you. Sure, truly, Dr. Eddie, your main man, 100 grand, your brother. And I mean that from another mother. Family has been fun. But you know, brother got to run. So I want you to know it's been a privilege and a pleasure, a treat and a treasure, a joy beyond measure. But I want you Yes, you, I'm talking to you to remember to keep the faith and believe it's going to be bigger, better, brighter, peace, and a whole lot of love. Keep soaring higher. Family, there is power in partnership and we are better together, which is why I am on a mandated mission to activate 30, yes, 30 new action takers who are ready to soar beyond their limits i'm ready to develop and deploy you into your gifts and your greatness now are you ready well get activated by joining the eagles academy where we cultivate your gifts and your talents to become the greatest version of yourself and we do this through weekly mastermind sessions where you receive strategies for exponential growth with self-paced eagles nest reflections that include personalized feedback to transform you to renew your mindset to empower you to take action and actualize your purpose. Are you an action taker? If so, today I ask you, are you ready to answer the call? Well, great. Then visit theeaglesacademy.com and become a member. For only $24.99, you will unlock unlimited knowledge and resources that will launch you and catapult you 
into the greatest version of yourself. I invite you to the winner's circle. On your mark, get set, go right now to theeaglesacademy.com and seize this moment.